How to Drain a Tooth Abscess at Home This video provides information on dental abscesses. It addresses what is a dental abscess, the types of abscesses, what causes an abscess, the symptoms, some home remedies, and the possibility of draining the abscess at home. In some cases, dental abscesses have no symptoms. In others, they prevent swallowing, eating, or drinking because the slightest movement of the mouth can cause pain. Abscesses do not appear suddenly. They form over time adequate attention is not paid to oral care. What is a dental abscess? It is an accumulation of pus in a localized area of the mouth due to a bacterial infection. It frequently occurs in the gums and bone, the tissues that support the tooth. A dental abscess reflects different circumstances and consequently can be the cause of a periodontal disease such as gingivitis and periodontitis. What are the types of abscess? There are three types of dental abscess, periapical, gingival, and periodontal. The periapical abscess is located at the tip of the root and below the tooth. It is the consequence of an untreated cavity, it causes pain and inflammation. The gingival abscess is located on the edge of the gums and generates inflammation. The gum may look red and swollen, and can sometimes bleed. The periodontal abscess is located between the bone and the gums. There is pain and inflammation in the area of the affected tissue. Why does a dental abscess occur? A dental abscess occurs when bacteria from the mouth enter the pulp of the tooth, where the nerve is located. It is painful and represents a risk, since it is the deepest part of the tooth that houses blood vessels. Bacteria can enter through a crack, a fractured tooth, a cavity or tartar deposited for a long time. Generally, this is associated with a diet rich in sugars and carbohydrates, as well as poor oral hygiene. Sometimes an abscessed tooth is due to other health conditions, such as a weak immune system, so the body can't fight the bacteria. It can also occur in people who have dry mouth or xerostomia, an oral health condition that comes with age or an adverse reaction to medications. What symptoms does a dental abscess present? A common indicator is pain in the tooth with changes in temperature. It can become more intense when chewing. Another sign is inflammation of the cheek or swelling with localized heat. Other symptoms may also occur such as a high fever, noticeable facial swelling, which can be serious if it affects the neck and or causes swelling of the tongue or under it. Other warning signs are difficulty with or the impossibility of opening the mouth to consume and swallow food and an impediment to normal breathing. If any of these symptoms occur, the recommendation is to consult a dentist or visit an emergency service to receive treatment and further instructions from a professional. Can an abscess be drained at home? A dental abscess is an infection that develops in the soft tissues of the mouth and is in contact with blood vessels, which is why it is not recommended to drain at home. This could cause the infection to spread through the bloodstream, thereby reaching other organs. Drainage of a dental abscess must be done under aseptic conditions by a dentist. They have the necessary tools to make the incision, clean the affected area, and suture it up. What home remedies can manage a tooth abscess? Home remedies help in managing the pain or symptoms of a dental abscess. To cure it, consult a dentist, who will indicate the most appropriate treatment. Here are some common home remedies. Warm water compresses, help soften and drain the abscess on its own. It is applied with a damp towel directly to the site. Another remedy is black tea. It helps control infection and may decrease inflammation as well. An alternative is salt and bicarbonate. This mixture helps heal an abscess if the infection is not advanced. Tea tree oil can be effective. Add to a glass of water one tablespoon of the oil. Once diluted, it can be applied to the area or use it as a rinse three times a day to help peel the abscess as long as the infection is not advanced. Rinsing with hydrogen peroxide helps eliminate infection. A tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide is mixed in a glass of water and gargled for a short time because it can affect tooth enamel. Please note that hydrogen peroxide is toxic and should not be ingested. Cloves are advised for the home management of a dental abscess. They reduce pain and inflammation Mix a tablespoon of water, about 15 milliliters, with a teaspoon of clove powder, about 5 grams, then eat to form a paste. Apply to the affected area for 15 minutes, three times a day. Apple cider vinegar helps control infection. Prepare a rinse with two tablespoons of vinegar in a glass of water. Gargle or swish the mixture for approximately five minutes twice a day. Another home therapy alternative is turmeric and salt. 
Mix two tablespoons of turmeric, one tablespoon of salt, and one of clove oil in a glass. Stir to form a paste and apply to the affected area three times a day. Oregano oil is a great home remedy. A few drops of the oil are applied to the affected area for 20 minutes. Then rinse with plenty of water. It is recommended to do this twice a day. Peppermint oil is a type of the home management of a dental abscess. Three tablespoons of peppermint oil are diluted in a glass of water. Then garble and rinse with water. It is recommended to do this daily and avoid consuming food or drinks for the next hour. Sesame seeds help reduce inflammation and pain. How is this home remedy applied? Take a pot and add a cup of water with five tablespoons of sesame seeds. Heat until it boils. The seeds are to be removed and crushed to form a paste. The paste is applied to the abscess for 15 minutes. It is recommended to rinse with hot water. The daily application of this home remedy helps manage the abscess. How to prevent dental abscesses. To avoid a dental abscess, it is essential to practice oral hygiene. A good brushing at least two times a day for two minutes with toothpaste containing fluoride is a must. A good complement to this habit is a periodic visit to the dentist at least twice a year to clean the teeth and identify any conditions that could affect oral health. Good oral hygiene habits, proper brushing and flossing, together with regular visits to the dentist, should prevent many gum diseases and give you a healthy smile. However, it is important to have a balanced diet low in carbohydrates and sugars. Thank you very much for what you have explained. If you have any questions about this or other topics, you can contact us at Channel Island Family Dental as well as our Facebook page. We look forward to your visit and we will make a timely diagnosis. Our dentists in Oxnard, St. Paul Adventure, Newbury Park and Port Huning will be able to guide you towards the best treatment to take care of your health and give you back your best smile.